Mix FM News. Monovay College educates the mind, spirit and heart. Visit monovay.com. Part of the Ace Radio Network, 88.9 and 93.7 Mix FM. 11 degrees in Melbourne, showers today, top of 15, it's 9 o'clock. Good morning, I'm Dennis O'Kane. A crime scene has been set up at a burned-out house in Apollo Bay where fire has left one man dead and two others injured. The blaze broke out early this morning in Diana Street. Residents in the historic town of Lahaina have begun returning to their burned-out homes and neighbourhoods. At least 55 people have been killed and hundreds are still missing after wildfires tore through the island of Maui. Local Julie Lundy has told the BBC nobody knows what they're coming back to. Um, this is our first time coming back and like actually knowing that our house burned down. We haven't really known anything for the last couple of days because there's no information coming through. We have, since we have no power, no cell service, no Wi-Fi, we're getting bits from car radio. The fire tragedy in Hawaii has prompted warnings for Victoria's fire season, predicted to be the worst in many years. Former Murrindindi Shire Mayor Lynn Gunter lived through the Black Saturday fires. She says there's been a complete lack of hazard reduction. There is a lot more undergrowth that's there. Added to that, the trees that died have fallen down, making more fuel loads. We just don't seem to learn. The state's road toll continues to rise. The latest death, a motorcyclist in Mornington. Brian Wilson reports. A car and a motorcycle rider collided on Wilson's Road near the intersection of Orchard Avenue just before 9 o'clock. Police say another vehicle then crashed into the rider who was lying on the ground suffering from critical injuries. Emergency services worked on the male motorcyclist. Sadly, he was pronounced dead at the scene. The drivers of both vehicles stop to assist. Investigations continue into the crash. Anyone with dash cam vision is urged to call Crime Stoppers. In Melbourne, Brian Wilson, 9 News. The Albanese government says Australia's relationship with China can't be conditional on the release of two Australian citizens. Yang Hinchung has been detained since 2019 and journalist Chung Lei will mark three years behind bars this weekend. The Prime Minister says he wants both released but still plans to visit China even if that demand is not met. Briefly in other news, the US Attorney General has appointed Federal Prosecutor Merrick Garland to investigate the President's son Hunter Biden on faces as he faces criminal charges. And a recall has been issued for a batch of marinated pork sold at Woolworths and also in Coles. The Hunnaby marinated pork by Oriental Merchant contains undeclared wheat. And Australian women are spending almost 15 years of their life on a diet. Georgia Condat explains. 19% of women are spending three to eight hours a week thinking about weight loss. Research by YouGov, commissioned for a weight loss company, shows almost a million women are permanently on a diet. Data published by News Corp reveals that despite the massive time investment, many women still feel they've failed in their quest for fat loss. Some say fad diets are taking a toll on their mental health. Georgia Condeck, Nine News. Awaken your senses. The all new MG5. Training premiers are certainly under the pump. Geelong needs to win the final two games to make the finals after going down to Collingwood by eight points last night at the MCG. Cats' Jeremy Cameron led the goal charge, bagging seven goals, including one from a controversial mark taken outside the boundary. Despite the loss, coach Chris Scott is confident they can win against St Kilda and the Western Bulldogs edging into the final eight. I think we can play better, no doubt about that. Um, but yeah, two games to go, do I think we can win them? Yeah. Matilda's coach Tony Goodstaffson doesn't believe Sam Kerr's starting in the quarterfinal against France will disrupt his side's momentum. The star defender is yet to start in the World Cup because of that troublesome calf injury, but she's expected to play 90 minutes this afternoon, kick off at five. It's five past nine, that's the latest news in sport. 
There's more news online at mix889.com.au or follow the links on our Facebook page. Just search Mix 889. The next time you try a McCafe coffee, you'll be enjoying the delicious taste of Australia's most popular barista-made coffee. Just one of many reasons to try McCafe. Bids of Portland opened in 2009. That's 14 years of selling bids and mattresses. Tony and the team thank the community for their support and promise to keep business bustling like usual. Bids of Portland, Mix FM's Business of the Month. Mix FM, your official emergency broadcaster. Mix FM weather. Southern Grampians Livestock and Real Estate, the team who consistently delivers the top results. Taking a look at your four-day forecast for the Western District. This morning, it'll be cloudy with a very high chance of showers, which will continue into the afternoon. Tomorrow, cloudy showers and 12 degrees. Monday, partly cloudy, chance of morning frost reaching 12. Tuesday, early morning frost and 13. And then for Wednesday, a possible shower and 14. Hamilton, Portland and the coast getting to a top of 13 degrees today. Harvey Norman Hamilton, your kitchen appliance specialist. Right now, it's 8 degrees.